Hey, how's it going guys? Thank you guys for, hey guys, how many guys have I said so far? I've said like five. What's up? It's Gus for another quick tutorial and this time it's about audio. Audio, audio, audio. You know, you know as a video creator yourself, you probably have to deal with some aspect of audio, whether it's miking up somebody with a lav mic, throwing a boom pole for on for a set, or you just don't have a sound engineer to record the best quality audio, or you're at a venue and you're trying to get the better audio you can out of what you have with you because you're a one-man band type of guy, right? Or type of person. Um, so we've seen tutorials about Road Wireless Go 2. We've seen tutorials about audio recorders, the task cams, the zooms, the uh, sound devices, you know, all of that. But what does it mean? Like, how do we put that to use for our needs as video creators, as a one-man band? Because most of the time, that's what I am. One man band, I'm running video, I'm running audio, um, and it's, it's best to what I've picked up on over the years, and I wanna share that with you. So, we already know that we have the wireless go to's, right? Where it records two wireless mics, two signals essentially, into one recorder, right? So you can have this on me, this on another person, you're getting two channels of audio into one recorder, which is great. But what do you do when somebody has a really low voice and somebody has a higher pitch voice? Obviously you can't level them out the same, right? And even though you could technically level out the audio um, of each mic input through the trans, uh, through the receiver of the wireless go to, it's gonna level it out the same across the board, right? You're not gonna have the ability to individually manage the mic input of each person. Also, sorry for the glare, I'm actually recording this on my iPhone and the sun's coming in, there we go. Um, so like I said, how do you control the two wireless mics coming into this one receiver individually as far as mic gain control, right? You obviously can do it in post, but for one man band type stuff, I want to get as much as possible correct in production so I don't have to deal with it in post, right? Or at least deal with it minimally in post. So I'm going to show you how you can use Zoom H6 or any audio recorder for that matter um, that has the ability to connect two separate audio inputs into the device, whether it's an XLR, a line input, or even a 3.5mm input right so stay tuned we're going to figure out how to connect two mics into the zoom to have full control individually of each channel all right so as you can see i've laid out the wireless go to the two mic packs the receiver and the zoom h6 now the great thing about the wireless go to is that i'm actually going to turn these on so i'm talking um you have redundancy, meaning each microphone has a backup recorded onto it just in case your audio happens to fail, right? Or something happens with your connection to the camera, you're able to have a backup within each individual microphone, which is great. And as you can see, as I'm speaking, we actually have it capturing my audio and they are individual so I'm gonna tap this one That's mic two and then this one's mic one so that's how we do it right we simply clip this onto our two talent connect it to the camera and then we have two mics into one um, and then we connect it to our camera which is great now it's kind of the same principle here when connecting it to the zoom h6 right so the situation I want you guys to imagine is I want to have individual control of each mic input because right now it is set to minus 18 dB as you can see and that minus 18 dB is affecting both of these. So both of these are to minus 18 dB but let's say I want to control each of these individually. How do I do that? That's where this comes in. This microphone, Zoom H6 recorder comes in. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have to get a splitter which is this 
this is all you need. Now, I chose to go in with the line input as opposed to the XLR just because it's less bulk for me um, and I feel it has a better secure connection. And plus, this type of setup isn't going to be run all the time. It's just in certain occasions, so I don't really care if it's XLR or not. Um, so this is what we need, right? You can go with either the line inputs or the XLR inputs. It really doesn't matter. What we're going to do here is I want you to imagine that you're connecting this into your camera, right? So you're going to take it, connect the 3.5 mil into the Rode wireless receiver. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn on channel 1, channel 2, and we're going to connect each of these here like this. Now, what this is giving us, we're going to raise this up to 10, and adjust this so we can see it a little bit better, right? Now, what this has given us is it's still recording two channels into the Road Wireless Go 2. And coming out of the Wireless Go 2, we have two separate channels that we can manually ride gain for each channel. As you can see, one of them is peaking right now, channel 2. So what I'm going to lower the gain control knob on the Zoom H6 to figure which one that is. So I'm going to tap it. I'm going to look at my gain control and as you can see it looks like it's channel 2. So we're going to lower channel 2 all the way down. I'm going to raise it up. Boom. That has control for channel 2. Now it's still being recorded here, right? But you have individual control of each channel. That's the power of being able to use a splitter or a breakout cable or whatever you want to call it, right? So right now, let's say I'm recording to both of these, but while I'm recording here, I don't want to record channel channel 2, which is this one. As you can see, it's just one channel. Let's say I want to bring up this one. Tapping it, nothing appears here until I raise channel 1 up. See? So that's how you create and use the Zoom H6 or a Tascam or any audio recorder that has the ability to record separate mic or XLR inputs into the device with a breakout cable. And this setup or this type of recording can recording setup can happen with anything. It doesn't have to be specifically the Rode Wireless Go 2. It can be a Cinco G2A2, which is actually what's being connected right now to the phone. I have my other mic pack. As you can see, it's being connected to the phone um, in order to get better audio. Okay, That's what I'm explaining about audio. A lot of it has to do with what do we do, how does that work for us as video creators, because we're not really audio engineers. We might know a little bit about audio, but let's, let's be honest about it. It's, it's to... to it's kind of scary, right? It's kind of like, well, I just know to get good audio and get 32-bit float. But what does that mean, right? So that's where I want to come in with this tutorial or this showcase and show you that even though you have two wireless mics into one channel, which is great, you might want to have full control of each individual mic input, and that's where this comes in, right? And then what's great about this, I know you're probably saying, okay, but now how do I get the signal from this into my camera? That's easy. You simply connect the line out from here into your camera, and now you're going to have the recording within the camera while having full control of each channel individually. That's it. It's that simple. It's nothing harder than basically playing with cables and figuring out what works. I picked this up from a gig I had at a at a corporate shoot where I was having issues with my audio and the audio engineer was kind enough to show me that I can use this to fully control each channel because one of these speakers on stage had a really loud voice and the other one had a really really low timid voice so it was giving me a headache trying to level it out here. So during the break, the intermission, he let me borrow his recorder and 
hooked it up to my camera and everything. And ever since then, I've used this setup whenever I know that there's going to be somebody speaking at different volumes that I have no control over from the main switchboard, right? So this works, right? I hope this, this tutorial, let's actually get back to filming me for a second. So that's it, guys. You know, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys or showed you a little bit more on the audio side of things on how to use your, your systems because a lot of times we buy the recorders and we kind of use it for at face value. Oh, you know, we can record our microphone packs into it. Great. And then you're stuck having to sync and post. If you guys see my other video on how to, great, how to get the um, mic input from the Zoom into your camera wirelessly, it'll save you so much time in post. And I actually link that up here. I, I don't know what side it is. This side, I think. I think it's this side. Link it up. Check out that video. It's going to show you how to, wire, how to turn your Zoom H6 or recorder into a wireless recorder that sends the signal wirelessly into your camera so you don't have to sync audio to picture and post, which is going to save you a ton of time, seriously. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know, I hope this makes sense. Any questions or any comments you have, put them down in the video. Uh, subscribe if this helped you out. Like the video. Um, if you guys want to see any other audio related tutorials from a video creator, let me know because there's a ton of audio things you can do that'll help you and make your life so much more easier when it comes to editing a video, right? So thank you guys for tuning in for this quick little dirty tutorial. And I say dirty because it's like handheld. I didn't even film it with my camera. It's with my iPhone. Uh, but I have great light here, natural light. Um, so I figured I might as well use it and see what I can get with it. So again, guys, any questions you have, let me know in the comments. Share the video with friends. Share it with uh, family. You guys have a good one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.